day marks one year since the release of the first set of breathtaking images from the James Webb Space Telescope, or Webb, NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope that's already revolutionizing astronomy. It is super cool. So here to celebrate these incredible discoveries and talk about what's next is NASA project scientist Quinn Hart. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. So Quinn, a new image from the Webb Telescope has just been released. Help us understand, because this just, you know, broke moments ago, what are we looking at? Oh, wow. You're looking at the Ro'ofuki cloud complex. It's a star forming region. It's one of the closest to Earth, about 400 light years away. And it's really giving us an unprecedented glimpse of a place where stars are being born, stars like that would eventually become the sun. Um, and you're seeing the dust that's enshrouding some of these baby stars that are embedded, but we can actually see them being active and shooting out near the top of the image, these red lava looking like yeah. mm -hmm. uh, outflows. Um, they're at the top going left to right. Mm -hmm. There's a giant one going from the top of the image down. And then there's this beautiful cavern looking feature where there's a star at the center that is, is a little bit more massive than our sun. Um, and it's heating up the dust and the gas and it's making that glow and that really beautiful white um, tendril-like features that you see. It's a awesome. beautiful one. Yeah, it's it's almost like artwork when you see yeah, these images. It's majestic. So the quick question for question two, what, what's next for the Webb Telescope? Oh, so many things. Uh, the universe is quite large, <laughs> uh, as you know, and you could probably pick your very most favorite thing to look at. And there's some scientists who's really curious about the details of how that works. And uh, my favorite are clusters of galaxies where there's hundreds to thousands. And you could just dive into that image and look at it for hours, just wondering what's out there and how did this come to be to be able to say, hey, how did those stars form? How did planets form? So um, lots of uh, new discoveries. Right. This is just first year. Quinn, we are learning so much. It is fascinating what's happening in outer space and how it affects us here on Earth. We could talk to you for hours. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but we do want to invite you back a little bit later. We'd love to continue the conversation. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much.